Hi everyone, Jim with CD Nova Instruments again, and today we're looking at the Thermal Scientific Model 2000i Partisol Sampler. This is a particulate high volume sampler, uh, commonly used in Canada for the, the NAPS sample program from coast to coast. And this unit, <clears throat> this unit has a PM10 inlet on the top. PM10 inlet combined with the uh, sharp cut cyclone for PM2.5. So it'll, it'll cut to 10 microns here and then reduce it to 2.5 microns here. And what we have, it comes down into the top of the unit through this mast assembly. You've got the, uh, the front door. And what we do is open up this door. And we have the electronic housing and the filter sample on the right. So we have the multi-menu display here. And on the right side is where the filter is collected. The uh, particulate is collected on the filter. There's a, there's a tube that mounts. It's not installed right yet, but there's a tube that comes down from the top here. It goes all the way down and just sits just on top of this filter cassette. And this filter cassette, this is where everything happens. So it works on a, uh, a sample filter that's pre-weighed on a micro balance and uh, once the pre-weight is done it's sent to the field the uh, technician will install it it's already pre-packaged in this cassette at the lab and the, the field tech will just simply put it in this plate load it into the cartridge holder so and then close it up. There's a mechanism here that will just push and it will close onto the mast assembly here and come down on top. So all that's happening is there's a pump down in the bottom of the cabinet here and uh, it will run basically midnight to midnight um, sample 24 hours and collect particulate down onto this filter. So after the 24 hour period the technician will come out, remove the filter, send it back to the lab. The lab will weigh it again and just on that weight difference from the pre-weight, they can calculate the amount of particulate that has landed on this filter. So it's a weight analysis and a 24-hour sample operation. So this unit has RS-232, Ethernet, and USB for quick data download. And coming around the side of the unit, a couple of cooling fans for the housings and the pump cabinet so the filter housing and then the pump cabinet down below carrying handles another fan on the back and then there's a couple of options here um, you can have an anemometer for wind speed wind direction uh, mostly I think wind direction so you can have the unit triggered depending on which way the wind is blowing from and have the unit turn on the sampler. That's why it has this anemometer option. And, and also just to monitor wind, wind speed, wind direction. Uh, the temperature sensor is uh, connected so it can measure ambient temperature to put in with the filter data. And the uh, temperature sensor just sits up in here on this uh, solar radiation shield. back around to the left side. There's not much on the left side. It's just another carrying handle and a fan for the pump housing as well. Uh, looking at the menu, so this is the main menu, main screen. I have a date, today's date, uh, start, start time, stop time, the flow, volume, so you can see it's all set to zero right now, so it hasn't done a run. It's in stop mode right now. <clears throat> so to set this sampler up, there's a multitude of keys here. There's a menu button here, and we can go into sample setup. Just hit enter, and then scroll down to sample here, hit enter. And this is where you'll set up the start time and the stop time for your sample filter. So it is set up in basic mode, and that's, that mode will run midnight to midnight, 24 hours. 
and for example, it would start, we'd have to start at midnight on uh, May 22nd, and it would end at midnight on May 23rd, it's set for 1300 hours here, but typically this would be 00 and 00, 00 from midnight to midnight, and you can see it's a duration of 24 hours, uh, is this a blank filter, it's just asking, it says no, you can put a filter ID in here as well, bits of information you can enter in here. Cassette ID, if you have a site ID that you want to put on with filter type, that sort of thing. And once you've got this information programmed, you can save it and then simply go back to the screen and it will uh, change to run. And then you, it goes into a wait time. So when the, the, the clock hits midnight on this unit, it will turn the pump on in the cabinet down below and the sample will begin to draw through the PM10 inlet, 2.5 cyclone, all the way down on to, to the filter right here. So pretty simple operation. It's, it's simply it's a high volume sampler, um, very small 47 millimeter cassette, very simple. And it's a 24 hour midnight to midnight sample collection. And these are widely used around the provinces in, this, in Canada. And again, for that NAPS sample program, for, for every six days they send these, these will trigger and uh, collect data and they send it back to the lab for analysis as well. So this is the Model 2000i. Artisol sampler. If you have any questions, feel free to comment and I will respond. Thank you.